So right now I am watching Tommy in this video about uh, a tribute to the Dream SMP and uh, of course I should not get sentimental about this you know it's it, it's it, you know it's Tommy's moment it's Tommy's emotional video about how, how long he worked how grateful he is for everything in his life right now but wow I I, I don't know I, I've, I've not even watched the entire video yet and this video has kind of made me think about things I, I just realizing like Tommy is just you know I mean he's 18 now but you know he was just a kid wanting to be like his favorite youtubers working his ass off day after day doubting himself wanting so much and uh, and now he got it and he got it by working so incredibly hard and uh, I don't know this video just uh, it very much resonates with me because you know I, I cannot talk in the same things as him because you know he's a, a much bigger YouTube much bigger audience and even though I want to be in that same category we're very different in YouTube channels and characters but it, it, it very much resonates with me because of course as youtubers we get inspired by the big boys we watch and then we want to like oh, yeah, I want to be a youtuber as well I want to be funny I want to make amazing videos it's gonna be so much fun um, and seeing that Tommy you know was in that exact same state you know of course and uh, he actually did it I don't know it, 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 the video also made me respect dream SP a little bit more not that I never respected the dream SP or stopped respecting the dream SP um, it, it, it just kind of and also kind of like makes me feel bad about my own channel when I did so many shady and scummy things on my channel just just because I wanted to be a youtuber so bad but uh, just realized from a moment that I just need to put a lot of effort into videos in my channel uh, and also myself and not forget about the life around me of course um, which is which is hard but uh, I, I'm trying to improve uh, with this channel and with myself and I think it's it's going in a good direction not only that my channel is actually doing very well and you know of course I am very grateful about that thank you for thank you all so much but it, it's still very hard um, and I want to I want to I really want to watch the rest of this video with you guys because yeah it, it, I don't know it, it very much it, it, it really hit me to my core I don't know I, I don't know how to word it um, so uh, we're gonna watch the, the rest of it now so yeah I want to also mention that you know as I said I, I, I've uh, recaptured my respect for the dream SAP and mostly just for Wilbur because we get all the all the behind the scenes of what actually happened and Wilbur just one day will like oh yeah I need to make a plot I see potential in this Wilbur you're such a genius for the love of God I Wilbur man um all right let's you know, let's just let's just points it. we had to hit otherwise the stream would have been a failure it was a lot of pressure yeah the thing is this this um uh if you realize how much pressure can be set on youtubers and streamers uh when they have a big audience it, it, it's so much when people expect things of you uh and and in tommy's case where we uh he needed to hit a lot of points for the story uh that can be so stressful like um overworking yourself is such a big issue with content creators nowadays like you know some have it better than others but in this in this case of tommy it's it can be so hard and i yeah i kind of realized that i never i never thought about you know tommy having a hard time I, I thought you know he was just having fun streaming but yeah i can see how that's so incredibly stressful is that this change wasn't bad. It made the server even cooler. I remember Very running home true. from college, booting up the my exact, OBS, uh, and skimming through whatever Wilbur had wrote for us today, and just going live. Exact point that, that I started watching that the dream wonder of What will happen next was so exciting. Yes, the streams were scripted. Yes, there was more pressure, but things still went wrong. We still improvised, made shit up. The spark was still there, and planning out the streams more only added to it. Hundreds of thousands of people were tuning in. Viewers ramping up to crazy amounts. But the momentum 
didn't stop there. The server kept ramping up in popularity now, meaning there were constantly more expectations, more demand, and a whole lot more of you lot. I won't lie, I was beginning to get seriously overwhelmed. The expectations began to pile up on me, the streams got planned out to a now stressful degree of detail, and it was just a lot. It was getting too much. But in a brief moment of reflection, I realized how far I'd actually come. I was now playing Minecraft, making videos with my heroes, Wilbur Soot, Technoblade, and even Jay Schlatt. <sighs> Let's pause. This, however cringy- I, th I mean, I I'm taking his word for it. I'm not going to pause. It's... That, is it, is it, isn't that so fucking inspiring that he is now playing and being friends with the people he adored? I don't know, just just realizing that you know he, he's he's kind of having he, he had the same dreams as me like becoming a content creator uh meeting meeting your heroes actually befriending them and standing right beside them you know that's that's so fucking damn i and you know I, it, it should it, yeah it should make me jealous almost but no it doesn't i'm just so happy for tommy like jesus christ It just, ah, it all comes in, it all, ah, I just don't realize it now, I get it, it's, it's so beautiful man, I love this. It might seem, is my genuine hero. You might already know this, because this video is completely inspired by him, but Schlatt is my idol. In the early quarantine, Very I spent every idol, night watching it. all of his channels. I was in love with his content, I wanted to be just like him. Now, during the quarantine, Schlatt followed me back. Probably a mistake on his end, because I messaged him. A lot. A lot, lot! Some might say <laughs> I was a little clingy, that I was a child. Uh, They'd be right. Yeah. Just as the Dream SMP was beginning to get huge, while I was live, Schlatt finally messaged me back and joined the server. This was the most surreal moment, uh, I mean, probably of my entire life up to this point. I was in quarantine, so I wasn't getting recognized. I only just started to understand the gravity of everything happening around me. But this moment made it all clear. My dream had came true. The feeling, the reality of walking next to him, doing jokes with him and Wilbur. I was included in my favorite YouTuber's friendship. It just... <sighs> I couldn't have asked for anything more. Seeing that Minecraft sunset with Schlatt, who inspired so much of what I do, that's all I needed. If it had all stopped then, in, in that moment, I would have been happy. That's so, realize that, please. For the love of God, realize that. Just, just standing next to your fucking idol that inspired you to do such great things, work your ass off to get to that, to that same point, and then actually getting there. Jesus Christ! It, 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 it literally. I'm not lying to you guys. When it's when when I say this, almost makes me emotional to, to hear to to hear the, these kind of things. Wow. But it was not slowing down. I now had a few million subscribers, and every day I went into college, I was getting more and more people coming up to me. I was not at all ready for what was happening. I tried no. to put that past so me, because young. no matter the yeah. numbers or recognition, we're still just some people making up a story. And I knew my story needed to take a new direction. In the Dream SMP, you play a role. My character, Tommy, is a version of myself. However, as time had gone on, my character's rivalry with Dream had gone far out of hand. Dream's character had really messed with me. He trapped me in exile, made my friends turn on me, he tormented me with war time and time again. Given this had been happening for six straight months, my character was coming to the end of the line. But now, to match the real world expectations too, I knew what it was time for. It was time for a change. It was time for a finale. I spent a bit of time writing out a few of my own arcs, but I knew for the finale it had to be different. This time I needed to go bigger. I needed to write a huge, standalone stream that would bring my character arc to a peak. And that was something only Wilbur had ever done. With almost no experience, I opened Google Docs and wrote out a plan for the Dream SMP finale. You know, this whole server had started with me and Turbo fighting Dream because he stole my music discs. Here's the thing though, even after six months of complex law writing, I'd still never retrieve my discs. Now, these weren't just discs anymore. They were a symbol of victory, of closure. My character, and quite frankly me, relied quite a lot on the safety of those Minecraft items. Now it was the time for a final stand. Dream had given us a compass a to very, the disc's very final good location. Choice. 
knowing me and Turbo weren't strong enough to take him down by ourselves. Immediately, we ventured out on one final voyage to get them back. Everyone on the server waved us goodbye, since they knew we were sailing straight into our deaths. Me and Turbo scaled the mountain, only to find Dreamer standing there, with my discs and his netherite axe. It was a challenge ever so reminiscent of how the server first started. We knew what we had to do. An old-fashioned, back-to-basic Minecraft duel. This stream, this brawl, was awesome. Dreamer started to fucking show off by playing the discs mid-fight, but I outplayed him! I got it back! I completely forgot about the story stuff. My inner Skywars player kicked in, and I was still hitting block clutches <sighs> but despite all of this dream defeated us took back the discs from me one final time and decided he was gonna take our last cannon lives too me and turbo would be gone and i never win that is where my story ends but then but i can't lie i watched avengers endgame oh about a week before ah, writing, so the it, whole server it. arrived through a portal, saving us at the very last minute! There it was, was no a very good end. It's, it's, it's a completely different plot. With only one ah. cannon life left, Dream begged for mercy, and because I'm a good guy, I gave it to him. Dream was put in prison forever, and me and Turbo had finally won, which left us right back where we started, on the bench, listening to my music discs. That night was truly amazing such a beautiful it's it's it, it's a very good beautiful not only because of the end, uh, end game reference of course but because it, tommy really realized what made his rivalry with dream special in the first place what he liked about it and that's that's very smart like even ending on the same bench but also ending the story in a kind of uh in a literal duel like how it all began it's it, it it, it it's not it's not so fun. Oh, it's it's a callback. It's just like it was. No, he really realizes what was good about those times. Not that it was a long time ago, but you know what I mean. Um, which that just shows how much Tommy is as a person, as a worker, like such hardworking individual. Just he realizes what's what went on in his life. What all went great, you know, he ended uh, his dream as a being, like, his biggest moment as becoming a YouTuber uh, in such a good way. And I have to give it to him. The stream had over 650,000 people watching. At the beginning of the SMP, only six Jesus, months earlier, I was there. I was, was you there? 2,000 viewers uh, at most. Twitch had never seen anything like this. The most someone had had was Ninja playing Fortnite with Drake. He literally <laughs> tweeted out a screen. And I broke that record. Sorry. I couldn't believe Sorry. the amount of people that wanted to it see the end it. of yeah. my story. I still can't believe it. I got awarded a world record for that stream. Yes, a Guinness world record really? for a Twitch stream. But what? I was so amazed, I didn't shocked, even know and thankful for how what Twitch started to treat me. Like, are you seeing this? And my life was turning around. You see, I was in my third lockdown now, and it was fucking rough. I wasn't allowed outside. I couldn't see my crush at the time, which was starting to go really well, and I was just miserable. But seeing how many people cared about the thing we were making, that changed my life. I had no confidence at the beginning of the SMP. I didn't like how I looked or how I sounded. But this SMP, you all taught me it was okay to just be me. That that's enough. The Dream SMP was a perfect storm of everything I could ever want, and it made me happier than I could ever imagine. But around then, after that stream, I think, well, for me, the server gradually lost something. It lost what it first started with that indescribable spark. I'd stopped joining the server because I wanted to, or because I was excited to play, it just became routine. The server almost yeah. felt like a museum. The sheer level of expectation from the audience was so intimidating. I felt too nervous I to never really hit that point again. Yeah. I was worried about the backlash from blowing up someone's Minecraft base. This time was stressful. And as viewers went up, I felt a constant pressure to live up to my last stream. When I saw that number drop, I knew I was doing something wrong. I didn't feel like I was good enough. It made no sense to me that millions of people were watching me, but just me. I refused to make any content by myself. I always had to have another person in the video because I wasn't sure of myself. Every decision I made, I ran by someone because, in all honesty, I was scared. Scared that all of this, everything I'd worked for, would disappear. 
any second. The success Jesus. of the server became its detriment. Everyone became busy and much more successful, and we all started on different things. There wasn't enough time for the story anymore. Hell, I stopped caring too. I was vlogging, hanging with my new friends, and the server was left behind. I can't say I don't miss the simple days. And streaming wasn't about viewers or quality. It was just fun. No matter what, if I'd have had a shit, an anxious day, I was just starting college. So there were a lot of those. Or, or a great day. It'd always end by joining the server and just letting that weird story take me away. Spending time every night telling jokes with some of my closest friends in the world and the coolest people I've ever met. It meant everything to me. Sure, it was just a Minecraft server, but this was real. This is what mattered. And so I think many we people all started to lose sight of that. Most of us stopped playing the server. We were done with it, except one player, who despite everyone's lack of motivation, kept streaming, kept coming up with new story ideas, and kept grinding. That was until no, about 13 fuck, months fuck ago. Me, no. Because around that time, we found out that Technoblade had a cancer. The Techno's unwillingness to show any signs of being affected by it made all my worries vanish. We joked about the dumbest way to clickbait it. I, I mean, it didn't even feel real. It didn't feel real. As soon as I heard the news, the very first thing I did was log on to the SMP. When Tenoblade joined SMP Earth for the last time, he left one final chest in his base with a goodbye note. Oh, I just hoped he'd done the same. I searched the server for so long that day, looking for any note, any last thing I might have missed. In his base, the place as he went most, his last log on spot. But there was nothing. Even though I was certain there was no secret note he'd left, I kept searching. Until, finally, I sat down on the bench, watched the sunset, and listened to the discs. And then, I let it all out. Technoblade is the coolest fucking person I've ever known. I remember the morning he added me on Discord. I, I was walking to school in the freezing cold, hands shaking, but it didn't matter because I was actually meeting Technoblade, the king of the Minecraft community. And it was the biggest honor anyone could receive from being one of his biggest fans to one of his mates. It was such a pleasure to have been in his life. Every stream he joined, every video he was in, he lit up the entire room. And I'm forever grateful for the amount of time he'd give up just to come and make jokes with us. We were the gang, and he was, and always will be, my hero. This Minecraft server has taught me so much about who I am today, and continues to help me discover who I want to be. Even when we stopped playing as much, the community kept us going. They started a new Minecraft era. The incredible art posted every day by you guys. The animation helped me see, reflect, and take in this Such server. an amazing community. This experience. Thank you so much for making that. It means so much. I'm also so fucking proud of my friends. Being able to see each and every one of them grow, all of us in this boat together, it was the best. This whole experience can be super lonely, but because of my friends, it never, ever was. And I wouldn't have wished to spend it with anyone else. I've had so much fun on this server, and even though I thought it was for quite some time, it's definitely not finished. As time goes on, I, I think we're all realizing how fucking lucky we are to have been a part of this stupid miracle, and I really shouldn't take this server for granted. Things are changing. We're all getting older. Oh, I mean, look at Phil. But, but, but just knowing that for the rest of my life, there will always be this world. I can run around and remember and relive all the memories we made. That's so much more than enough. Jesus, Tommy. When I... Um, I am not going to lie to you. When I... When I first saw this video in my recommend i of course did. i didn't really think much of it i uh, i expected a video like this but not like this um 
I just started this record. I, I actually just want to stream it because maybe people would enjoy it. And making a video about it. <laughs> and making a video about it, you know, it's... Uh, I don't know. It's it's very important. It I, I for me it's very important. Uh, and I I know that probably people who are in this in the same boat, uh, you know, feel the same. Of course, fans of the Dreamers MP, YouTubers like me, YouTubers in the making, anyone. Uh, what a fucking inspiring video! I. I th 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 you know, I, I I'm just I'm just a a, a guy. I, I'm just a small guy making stupid videos on YouTube, which most of the time I'm not proud of. But uh, uh, f for what my words even mean on this godforsaken internet, uh, I uh, I am proud of Tommy, and I think it's so beautiful to see his journey in this little video and how grateful he's for us. How how much. He recognized all he did, all the hard work he put into, all the all the things he've lived through, all all the moments he captured. Oh, it's it's inspiring as fuck. This this, this was amazing. I am not going to lie to you. Uh, yeah, and of course, um, a little tribute to techno. Of course, it's. Uh, I I for for some reason I feel bad about me crying about this because I, of course. I didn't know Technoblade. You know, he was on one of my closest friends. Uh, but uh, it was one of my favorite YouTubers as well. Like like so many millions and millions of people. And I feel like, just like everyone else, I, I just can't stop crying. Uh, it was also a nice tribute to that. So, many things made me cry in this video. Uh, I don't want to repeat myself anymore, of course. Uh, not your normal everyday uh, reaction video. Just realizing some stuff. Hopefully you guys did still like it. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.